inconclusive test results are not always a bad thing. I mean, if it were a fractured skull, it would say fractured skull. So maybe, I don't know, it's a concussion or something less. I just need to know that he's going to be okay. How's it, how's it, Jake? Uh, our doctor says all we can do is wait. I'm so sorry. I it must be awful knowing that Edward was driving that car. My my grandfather? What happened? He had a heart attack. That's that's what I heard. I mean, all I know is that that he was he was driving and and he was in emergency surgery. Okay, that's terrible. That's terrible. Does your grandfather know that that Jake is your son? Okay, all right, maybe that's a good thing because I don't think he would be able to handle it if he knew that he hurt his great-grandson. Jakey, I know you can do this. You're such a great little boy. Mommy and Daddy are right here and we love you so much. Jake is okay. Oh, good. Thank you. <sighs> Do you need anything? I mean, I can go get you some coffee, whatever you need. Let me know. I'm fine. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, do I stay here at the hospital? I'm not hurt. I'm not helping anybody. You know, Jake's okay. Edward's not. He doesn't even know he almost killed his own great-grandson. I mean, not that it matters, he still drove his car through that crowd of people, collapsed a tent on a kid. I mean, do you think he'd feel any less guilty knowing that he doesn't know the kid is a relative? I don't, I'm really not sure what you're asking. I, I, right I, I, I just want to know why it happened. Who well, told you why it happened? He had a heart attack. Yeah, was it before or after he hit the midway? Was he drunk or not? Because before I found out it was Edward, I, w I wanted to kill that person who was driving that car. Now it's Edward. And what if he was drunk? What if it was his fault? I just, uh, I feel, I feel sorry for him. I mean, he's lost so much already. Remember, but I did work for your grandfather for like a hot second. Yeah, that's right, you did. I did. And guess what? He was a master manipulator it, we were together at the time and the only reason why we kept me around clearly is because he wanted to continue to have contact with you we talked about you all the time i don't really remember that part well i remember and more than anything your grandfather was just he was really proud of you and he misses you he wishes that you guys were closer feel about Edward. I mean, in the beginning it was so clean and easy for me because he wanted to control me and of course I had to fight against him. I had to. I didn't want his legacy. I never believed him when he said he loved me. He didn't, he didn't need me. He had the others to control. He had Alan and Justice and AJ and he had my grandmother and he had Emily to love. And now everybody's gone. I don't even know why I'm talking like this. I'm never going to tell anybody. 
and Jake is my son. It's just kind of crazy that they both could have died tonight. Connected through me, and neither one knows it. You know it. And I think that's why you stayed in the hospital tonight, to be here for Edward and your son. It matters that you're here. You're welcome, but I really didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. Is, uh, is Edward Quarterman still in surgery? Yes, and well, we tried to find his immediate family and no one could contact you, so... No, 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 it's okay. I understand that he needed surgery. I'd just like to check up on him. Well, I will let you know when he's back in his room. Okay, thanks. She's got a, a next week. She's doing fine. Edward's room, the car, how'd that happen? I have no idea. They think uh, maybe a heart attack, but he's still in surgery. Is there any idea how many people were hurt? No, I haven't heard. You know, Jake was in the tent when it collapsed. Is he all right? And they thought that he had a skull fracture, but now they think that he's going to be okay. That's great news. Yeah, thank you. What, what happened to Christina? Well, she, she was in the ride. They got hit. She got stuck in the wreckage. She's all right. Um, very close call for her and Morgan. Where is Morgan? Carly took him home. He was in the midway. Carl was coming straight at him. He froze and panicked. Uh, Dominic shoved him out of the way, got hit. How's Dominic? Internal bleeding looks like you may need a, a, a kidney transplant this is just crazy sorry i'm sorry, sorry to hear about that well i got i got bernie tracking down you know his parents and i'm gonna have to be the one to talk to them that's the last thing any parent wants to hear yeah. how is it uh, the surgery went well I hope I wasn't out of line to authorize it. He just couldn't afford to wait. No, I'm, I'm glad you were here. Yeah, um, Monica and Tracy are on their way back. Have you spoken to the police yet? Not yet. Sure. They've been asking a lot of questions about drunk driving. I mean, the family has had problems with alcohol. Yeah, even if he had a couple of drinks, there's no way that he could have been drunk enough to drive straight down the Carnival Midway, Jason. I don't know, maybe the accelerator got stuck or the transmission went into overdrive and, and the brakes went out. I don't know, but it, it had to have been something major to cause that much damage and to hurt that many people. Oh, just let me know when he wakes up. Yeah, listen, you're welcome to stay. I'm sure he would much rather see you than me. Uh, I doubt that. But I won't be around if he needs me or if you need anything. Is it all right if I tell him you were here? Yeah. I mean, if you think it will help. 